Hey guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, my name is Stephanie and I'm here to just let you know that this platform is a safe platform for you guys to um, comment below and just ask any questions. Um, I know this, we're gonna be focusing on um, self-care tips and an open table. So we could talk about issues, you know, it's 2020, it's June 3rd, I believe and we are going through this stay at home order with the coronavirus um you know our people are out there fighting for just for civil rights and for equality and our people are uniting it's just such a beautiful thing um but then again like because we have to stay home because of social distancing because people aren't treated fairly. Um, it causes a lot of stress, anxiety, fear, anger. I know I've had moments where I wanted to cry because, you know, going back to COVID, I was struggling with not finding items like toilet paper and wipes and just basic needs. And there's another time where I just feel overwhelmed with all this negative, you know, events going on through social media where they're only focusing on the negative and uh, making people feel worse rather than doing things that will help us move us forward, become better people, um, be proactive and things like that. So I don't wanna get into detail with all these things, but I do wanna start by recommending tips that I pick up from other people and, and you know that I implement into my life so I know as soon as I wake up I love to journal I love to just, just let out all this negative noise in my head when I wake up you know if it's not noise that I have in my head I just write one thing over and over for about I want to say five to ten minutes just to try and calm myself down and you know, if things come to mind, then I do write it down. And, you know, sometimes you do create or have uh, creative ideas come out of it. Um, another thing that I love to do is um, meditate. I just recently started doing that. I want to say like a year and a half ago because, you know, again, I was just having anxiety and, you know, it's normal. We all have anxiety. It's an emotion. Um, that just happens when things are out of our control. And that's why I got into it. I was doing research and it says meditation helps. Um, I know I like to shoot for 10 minutes a day um, during the weekdays. And if I can, I try to remind myself during the weekend because it's better to do it every day. Um, it just helps you be more present. It helps you focus on the now. It helps you cherish the moments. Um, and it gives you clarity, you know, all those, all the negative things going on in your head just goes away magically, but it does take time. I know at first I was like, am I doing this right? But I know there's different types of meditation and that could be completely like a whole different video because I could totally go into depth with that. I know I do different types of meditation and before I had no clue that I was doing that. So I thought there was only one form, but again, that's just me not, you know, being exposed to that information, which is always great to do your research and you know, always better yourself. Always try to look for things that can help you improve overall. Um, so after my journaling, after my meditation, I also like to do physical fitness. I know before I was really into um, heavy lifting, but since the gyms are closed, I do switch it up. Um, and I have been struggling trying to do it every day. So I just try and push myself to just do it you know, think of it as more of a a chore, like brushing your teeth, because it. I know it helps me stay calm. I get all that extra energy that's bad for me out of my body, and I seem to be less reactive. I know I snap less. Um, I feel like I have a clearer head, and I know when, when things happen that I'm not very happy about, I'm willing to accept it and focus on how to make things better versus just getting stuck on that um, negative emotion and just making it, you know, worse by turning into a domino effect. 
um, because once you, you start reacting, you know, <laughs> negative things keep on happening. So it's better to just be, just accept what it is and do something about it instead of just dwelling on the emotion. But I don't want to say that it's not bad to feel emotions. We are human, which is great. You know, we're not robots. Um, it's, it's normal to feel angry, sad, you know, all those negative things. But it's not good for you to just dwell on it. So I, again, I just want to clarify myself that it's okay to feel, you know, but it's not okay to dwell and stay there. You know, always do something about it. You got to fix the situation um, for your own health. Um, what's another thing I like to do? Um, another thing I like to do is I try to eat healthy. I was very good at it um, when I was younger in, in uh, I want to say, my early college years. Um, I'm 27 now, but I was really into eating more healthy, low carb before. I know now I'm, I'm comfortable, um, but I would like to eat better because I do love chocolate. I do love sweets. So I know just maintaining a balance because what you put in your body really has to do a lot with how you feel at the same time. But yeah, so don't forget to come back and subscribe or give us a thumbs up. Um, I welcome all opinions, all suggestions. So please don't be afraid to comment below and you have any suggestions or questions on things that you want to talk about. I would be more than happy to share my thoughts and tips on how I um, cope with things and just life events in general so anyways if you've watched this video this far congratulations because it's probably really long and I appreciate you so please be safe out there and you know it's all peace and love here so thank you so much